convicted murderer, theater shooter James Holmes, sentenced to more than 3,300 years in prison today. That's on top of the 12 life sentences he's already serving. The judge sentencing Holmes to 48 years in prison for each count of attempted first degree murder, 32 years for each count of second degree attempted murder, and another six years for the booby traps he left in an apartment. 3,318 years in all. Seven News reporter Marshall Zellinger in court for today's sentencing. And Marshall, Holmes may not spend that time in a Colorado prison. No, we're finding out that he could be sent to a different state. The judge even saying in his comments in the courtroom that he suspects the shooter would be sent out of Colorado for his sentence. But that all depends on the intake process, where the Department of Corrections feels he would fit best and if another state would even take him. All right, Sheriff, get the defendant out of my courtroom, please. Thank you. The judge putting an unexpected exclamation point at the end of the Aurora Theater shooting trial. It's the last we'll see of the shooter. His 12 lifetime plus 3,318 year prison sentence may be served outside of Colorado. Do I think that he should spend the rest of his natural life under Colorado skies? I guess part of me does think that he should do that, as long as it's in captivity and as long as it's miserable. Victims' families who have endured graphic details, long days in court, and 1,132 days now know this killer is no longer waiting for prison. He'll be there soon. That fact was addressed by the mother of Rebecca Wingo, the grandmother of Michaela Medic, and the parents of Jessica Gawi. We're very happy with the, the sentence. We think it's our best chance to see the defendant die in our lifetime. And let's hope he gets in jail. We do know one thing. He's going to die in prison. And for us, that's good enough. The sooner, the better. For the last three plus years, that has been his home, the Arapahoe County Jail. But we knew almost three weeks ago that he was going to be moved from that jail to a prison to spend the rest of his life times 12 sentences all over in a prison. And so some of you have been asking on social media and by email, what did today's 3,318 years mean? What did they stand for? Why did we matter? Why did it matter? Why did we care? Well, coming up at six, we find out from the survivors why those years are so important. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.